Tonight's top story, it was several months ago when a Norfolk Southern train derailed in Jefferson County, which left behind trash and debris. But what many thought was cleaned up turned out to be uncovered as complaints were made to County Health Department officials. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dylan Cleland. News 9's Chloe Mesagaitis brings us an update on that cleanup. Well, this is where you could find some of that debris on the banks of the Ohio River after that November 2022 trash train derailment near Toronto. Now, what has the Jefferson County Health Department done? Well, they have issued this notice of an open dumping violation to Norfolk Southern and are looking for answers and action from the railroad. In a violation notice dated July 26, County Environmental Health Director Mark Maragos wrote to the railroad that waste had been, quote, illegally buried along the slope, as well as waste still located in the river and along the rail line. These are photos taken at the time of the July 6 investigation by Health Department staff. Health Commissioner Andrew Henry says this debris has led to other problems. It's contaminating the, the river bank, the rivers. Obviously, people use that for recreational purposes. Obviously, we drink the water from the river. So it's a number of issues uh, that, that led to that open dumping violation. Within that violation notice, it states Norfolk Southern must submit a plan of action within a week's time, which they did. On August 2nd, the railroad responded with a two-phase cleanup plan of action made up of three sections. Time frame, removal process and equipment, and finally, bank stabilization. Henry says the site already looks much better than earlier this summer as they work towards phase two of the project. And while the railroad did submit this plan of action, some feel this isn't enough. If they're going to continue to be hauling that through our area, shouldn't we have contact names for Norfolk Southern? So if they go off the tracks again, which they probably will, and most of that rail is close to the river, and we know that a lot of that trash went in the river, but Henry says this creates a path of communication they didn't have before. So should this happen again, we know exactly the protocol that will follow and make sure that we are in constant contact with them the moment it happens. And they say this whole cleanup process should be completed by the end of the year. In Toronto, Chloe Mesogaitis, News 9. I'm Gianna Dupre. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch and please take some time to subscribe to our channel.